Hi, I'm Bob Robotham, CEO at Bigger, Faster, Stronger, and I'm here with Cam Shepard, one of our clinicians, to help demonstrate how to use the glute ham correctly. First thing I want to show you is how to use it incorrectly. This is what most people do when they get a glute ham. They get into it and use it as a Roman chair, and they basically do no gastroc raise whatsoever. Now let's make sure we do it correctly. What we have to do is move this, this piece forward. Okay, what we want, now Cam is experienced. This is uh, probably a little advanced. I wouldn't start with all beginners here, but the ideal position is to get where the knees are actually tucked into the pad. Now, from this position, what I want Cam to do is make sure that his feet are pressed firmly into this plate. Don't just rely on the, uh, the roller pad. Starting position will be all the way down, arms across the chest. From this position, you will start up and come straight up, and that will be the position you want to stay in as you're starting. And then from this position, you now bend at the knees, keeping the back straight. Now that takes a lot of work, and doing it correctly will help preventing hamstring pulls and increasing speed. So let, let's show how we make this a little bit more difficult. What we do as far as the adjustments, move this whole process forward to make it harder, and then move the pads up higher. Now this is the number one auxiliary lift or exercise for the BFS program. We recommend sets and reps, three, one to three sets of eight to 10 reps. Ideally, we do a minimum of two sets of eight to 10 reps.